Hey guys, hello. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Eleanor's world. Hello, Eleanor. Eleanor, say hi. Wake up, Eleanor. <laughs> Wake up. Wake up. Her tail's wagging and I know she's awake. Hello. No, dad, leave me alone. <laughs> Eleanor is a good cat. She is, she's gained about two and a half pounds since she joined the family. And um, she is hanging up, she's hanging out on what used to be um, my desk. Uh, this is now her bed. She spends a lot of time here. Good morning, Peaches. Nothing? All right. Uh, so I figured, um, hi guys, I, uh, I have never really given you a tour of the the cat's apartment, which is what used to be my apartment. Um, this is uh, what used to be a towel. I filled it with uh, catnip, and it's ser certainly seen a little bit of that activity. So they like to sleep on this, or um, they used to kind of rip it up, but now it, I think it must be drying out, so they like to sleep on it. But uh, let's see. Let's give you the tour. Um, don't mind the dust and the dirt. Uh, there's a little bit of dirt here and on the floor over here because the cat's knocked over. A house plant I have not cleaned up since. But um, so there's the desk. Uh, next to it, I've got this IKEA Calyx uh, thing. It's like one of those, how many cubes is it? Four cubes high, two wide. It is now my junk drawer because I really don't have a junk drawer. And the things I used to have on my desk are now up there because the cats knocked, well, they would knock everything off if I had it there. So everything kind of crammed into a corner. I have some of the cubbies open so that the cats can walk from this area over to my bed. Uh, and they do that. And uh, let's see, there's a tall cat tree here, which is probably... I don't know, five and a half feet tall. Maybe it's about five feet tall, five and a half feet tall. Uh, it's right here. As you can see, it goes down real low. There's another one here, which is probably about four and a half feet tall here. Next to the tall Ikea cabinet, I've got a shorter one also filled with junk um, with another cat thing on top of it. Uh, Buddy likes to sleep inside here sometimes and all of them like to play around here and then so they have that and to get up there i have another thing here for them to jump from here to here to here to there or around and they will hop all over this contraption um and that is where they spend most of their day um eh, hi eleanor hi Hello, baby. Hello. Yeah, okay, fine. She is so good. Oh, Buddy's out there. I'm gonna go let him in. One sec. Buddy didn't want to come in, but he wanted to say hi. Oh. <laughs> you want to say hi, guys? All right, so he didn't want to come inside, but uh, there is the dirt from the house plant. <laughs> I have to vacuum that up. and uh, But what I wanted to show you was the um, water fountain. I'm talking with Eleanor's tail in my mouth. Uh, that is the one of the water fountains I bought from uh, Amazon. It's by something called Drinkwell. I'll link it to the bottom of the, uh, into the comment section. That is what Buddy drinks out of. This is the Cadet water fountain, which is the one that um, Eleanor prefers. She likes to drink right out of the top where it bubbles out. Um, they're both silent. Uh, I prefer the other one, the gray one, only because you do hear the water running a little tiny bit, which is a very nice sound. The cat at one here is silent. You don't hear the water, you don't hear the motion, the, the, um, the motor, anything. Uh, they stayed relatively full for a three-day trip so i think they'll be okay um for longer uh eleanor prefers drinking i mean sorry claire prefers drinking still out of that water bowl which i have to empty out um so yeah oh hey let me uh find claire 
Hey, Claire Bear. Claire is resting. Hello. Oh, honey. Claire is resting. She is purring, which is good. She is um, on top of a uh, Coleman cot. You know Coleman, the camping company? They make these cots. They're kind of... Um, the same surface tension as a soft-sided suitcase, uh, and it's a mesh up on the top. Hello. Bink. Bink. <laughs> oh, oh, what's that? What? Oh. She's usually very happy. I just woke her up. Um, so there, <laughs> she looks miserable. She is very super, super, super lovable. Um, you guys haven't seen her since she moved in. Uh, but uh, she's on a cot. I have a second cot over there. And uh, so, <laughs> yeah, this is this is why uh, she was cranky, because I woke her up. Look at that face. Look at that face. Yeah. She knows I'm talking about her. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, so I got that first cot because Buddy really liked to sleep on his suitcase. I just didn't have room for the suitcase on the floor. So I took it out and I got this. And he seemed to like it up here on my bed. So I put the second one I got. I got a gift card from a, a sponsee for my birthday. So I bought another one from Marshalls. They were 20 bucks. Uh, I put it over there. The cat bed up on top is one of Buddy's first cat beds. Um, he will get in there at night. Most nights he'll sleep up there when I'm home. Um, I will sleep here on my side. Those are the pillows that, uh, uh, Tracy gave me. Um, I use those to, um, sleep when I want to sit up in bed. I use those to keep me from leaning against the wall. And sometimes I leave them around the sides to keep the cats from sliding off the sides. Of the cots. <laughs> uh, but, uh, I'll sleep here on this side of the bed. And I will sleep on my side with one arm draped over the side of the cot here and in the cat bed. And Buddy will sleep with his head on my hand. Uh, and uh, that makes me very happy. This is, well, it's a water bottle. Um, and this is where Claire prefers sleeping. That's her favorite spot. Um, I have an air purifier that blows air right on there. And she loves to sleep there. So at nighttime, she sleeps there. I sleep here, Buddy sleeps there, and uh, Eleanor usually sleeps right over here. So at night, it's a happy little family in my bed, which is the reason no one else will ever see my bed. <laughs> All right, let's see. One sec. Eleanor is awake. And this is, what? Well, yeah, get it. This is the newest toy I've uh, got for them. I got it on Etsy. Uh, it's a clump of fur with some feathers on it. <laughs> and she's going to lick it to death. Okay. And this... <laughs> you kill me, kiddo. That is Ellen. I just can't believe how she's changed. Um, why... why you... Huh, I'm confused why she's licking it to death. Uh, and there's a little bell in there, too. This has not been the most successful toy. I'm a little disappointed. I think because the fur piece is so big, um, if I could take it off this stick, uh, Eleanor would like it more. Just maybe I'll try and find a scrap of fur for her to... Because she just likes to grab it and run with it and then just clearly lick it to death. But that is our new new toy... I got that on Etsy. Uh, I'm going to do a video soon about the, um, maybe later on today, about their um, the toys that really do make keeping these cats healthy and sane. Um, oh, let go, let go. Uh, I'm going to show you a video of the toys that really are successful uh, and that keep them happy and sane and active, especially when I'm not home uh, for work. All right, well, there you go. I want to give you guys a little tour of um, where the cats spend their time. There's Eleanor way over there. And, uh, boop. All right, well, I will talk to you guys later. You guys fly safe. 
And uh, I'm going to feed the cat and then get something to eat myself. And then maybe go to the movies if I can get Buddy into the house. All right. Oh, I love this cat. Oh, I love you. Whoop! I dropped your toy. All right, I will talk to you guys later. I'm going to say goodbye. Say bye, Eleanor. All right, she says bye. Fly safe.